हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सर्वर ज्ञान माय नेम इज डॉक्टर लोकेंद्र सिंह आफ्टर क्वाइट लॉन्ग ब्रेक आई थॉट ऑफ स्टार्टिंग वंस अगेन शेयरिंग माय नॉलेज विद यू गाइस सो आई वाज गोइंग थ्रू ईसी टू सेक्शन टुडे एंड सडनली आई फाउंड कपल ऑफ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट्स विच आई वुड लाइक टू हाईलाइट एंड विच आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर विद यू एज वेल सो गोइंग फॉरवर्ड इवन यू कैन कंज्यूम दैट लेवल ऑफ नॉलेज विच इज एक्चुअली अवेलेबल एज ऑफ टूडे so let us uh, launch one ec2 machine and there are some additional stuff which i found quite interesting and thought of sharing with you as well okay so this is our ec2 home page we are going to give a name to this particular machine let us call it linux box then we are going to select an an ami amazon machine image which we most of people are aware of this is a particular pre baked template that contains software configuration like operating system your application server your uh, pre configured users their username password uh, like every sort of image you can you know, like detail you can have within that image that is known as ami but for this particular uh, video i am going to select uh, the particular rhl 9 red hat enterprise linux 9 version i am going to select so obviously we were aware that there are two versions of there are two kind of architecture available either it could be x86 64 bit or arm 64 bit so both the os are going to be of same architecture type but there is a particular condition let me show you that so if we select this ami type of architecture so the instances here are going to change for sure now what is new here so t4g nano was earlier as well it's been quite some time we have been like seeing these sort of things but if you see c6g is available 12g is available and aside to that one more kind of instance is available as of today for you maybe i shall be able to figure it out uh, c7 okay that is available for only like uh, this architecture i wanted to tell you something yes for x86 64 it is available like uh, we can figure out here up to now we have we used to have only c5 but right now we have c7 as well or oh, is it not available in this region let me look for some other reason uh, aws has introduced one new type of instances like m7 c7 r7 so these sort of instances are available as of today so that's what i wanted to tell you so let us look for instance type only let us not launch an instance quickly let us go for the particular comparison like what you are going to get within those type of instances how these are going to be different from the regular instances which which you have been working up, working upon so far this is taking a little more than expected time let me open it in in, in a new tab so guys there are new type of instances available I was really excited to share this information with you because it's not been quite long time since these this type of instances are made available. So let us try to compare the specific instance type which are like uh, which begins with C3, C4, C5, and uh, like C6G. Then after we have C7 now available. So what is the difference between all? So let us go with C3. Let us say C3.4x large. Then we we let us say C4.4x large. then after let us say c5 dot 4x large then after let us say c5 dot 4x large and let us say c6g dot 4x large then after we have c7 g c7 okay this is available c7g so c7g everything is related to graviton only so guys this particular is available here like c7g dot 4x large so guys these are the particular architecture which we have so if you go through any of these you will be able to see that every single machine is coming with 16 cpu and 32 gb of ram but yes if we talk about this specific instance like what is the specification of it let me show you that let me pull it up yes so guys if you see This is of C7G dot 4x large instance family type is C7G 4x large instance Nitro hypervisor it is providing it supports EBS as backend 
now if we go to detailed of cloud com its, its compute then we will get to know like obviously it is not covered under free tier free tier not available bare metal no it comes with a virtual machine 16 core so like 16 vcpu we get it does not support multi threading this particular point has to be noticed now the particular sustained click like clock speed is going to be 2.6 gigahertz only if we talk about valid threads per core then it is one like it does not provide multi threading two cpu like 32 gb of ram it, it provides and gen, uh, current generation it is not of any previous generation now if we talk about networking so how much does it support and what are the availability zones where it can be found so these are the availability zones maximum number of network interfaces so guys keep this thing when we can attach up to eight interfaces with this particular machine for like 30 ip addresses can be assigned with these with these interfaces like 30 ip address per interface ipv6 address per interface 30 now supported uh, placement group strategy like it can sub it can be used as cluster as partition or as a as spread Elastic network adapter is not applicable with this. Now, if we talk about storage, so obviously EBS is supported and EBS encryption is also supported. Now, escalated. This does not support any kind of GPU. It does not support GPU, many, like obviously GPU facilities are not available. If we talk about pricing, so it comes with, uh, this is going to be on-demand price. Per hour, this is going to be on-demand, like Linux price, this is SUSE, this is Linux and as per RHEL. So this is the particular comparison of that. Now, if we talk about C5, then obviously guys, we will have to look at C5. So C6 and C5 are going to be a little different. So now we can compare this like this. Okay, let me select C4 as well in that case. Okay, and uh, C4 and C3 as well. So as we shall be able to compare all the instances at a glance. Let me remove C7. Okay, so these are the instances which we can see. Like instance family, obviously we know. So if we talk about instance size is going to remain same because uh, most of instances are going to come with the same stuff. Now C5 and C6G, these provides Nitro hypervisor, which is latest hypervisor after Zen. Then after we talk about auto recovery support is enabled. And uh, hibernate, hibernation options are uh, like available. Now compute, if we talk about free trial no 16 cpu provides every month now if we talk about valid course valid course means like how many cores we are going to get over here you are going to get 16 core over here you will get eight cores and every single core is going to support two, two thread like multi threading is possible here now if we talk about like sustained clock speed so the maximum which you are going to get that is under c5.4 x large this is the like Obviously, when we are when we are going to opt or like opt kind of uh, that machine which is computer optimized, so obviously we will we would be thinking of like we should be getting maximum sustained clock speed because this is the compute capacity uh, generation. Like obviously true, uh, this is of uh, previous generation like C3.4x large. Then after if you talk about availability zones, so most of most of instances are available in all the availability zones. If you talk about so it provides up to 10 gig, wherein it stays only high. ENA unsupported, like it is required. Maximum number of in network interfaces, it supports eight. Maximum IP addresses, IPv4 per interface, we can associate 30. So that is the limit here. Uh, like this, this can be an interview question as well. Like how many IP addresses can be associated with an EC2 machine? So uh, like number of interface into, like, uh, like number of IP address can be assigned per interface. So storage remains common. So these are the particular uh, stuff which I wanted to share with you. One more thing, if you go with, let us see if you go with on demand, let us, uh, let us compare RHL price only. So if you see here, so this is the highest one, 0 0.97 USD per hour. It is 0 0.926 dollar, like dollar, dollar uh, USD per hour. It is 0 0.81 and it is more cheaper, which is 0 0.6 seven four because the computer speed is low and moreover it comes with graviton g for graviton processor so if you want to compare the price of all three like c6g and uh, that c7 so these but like still prices are not available 
so that is not uh, i shall not be able to show you here that so yes these are the particular stuff which we have aside to that right now if you go to launch instance so guys first of all we have one new category which is known as c7 c7g uh, now if we go to launch instance here so what we are going to see only a couple of features only this is a little slow today so we have rhl 9 I'm going to select default instance type, which is going to be T2 micro only for sure. It is it is covered under free tier, so I'll select only this one. Key pair I have. Okay, I don't have a key pair here. Let me create new. Uh, let me give it a SG and North uh, North Virginia. Okay, initially there was a particular. Let me show you something here. Initially there was only dot pam option available, but if you are a Windows user, and you were supposed to convert your keys from dot pam to dot ppk using uh, Putigen, so right now you can directly download the particular keys in the form of dot ppk only, uh, directly from here. Okay, and uh, based on my requirement, I have downloaded here that. Okay. Initially, with the previous interface, these sort of options were selected as individual. But right now, these options have been categorized. You can select what VPC you want, what subnet is your preferred one. So you can select here from the drop-down list. Let us say I want to go with one uh, A only. Auto IP address enabled. Obviously, this has been there forever. Now, initially. This particular option one was not there. That uh, AWS did not use to suggest that as port number twenty two should be opened by default from any from this particular IP address. But yes, now this suggestion is there. If you want to go for advanced network configuration, you can configure like uh, secondary IP address from here automatically assigned. Uh, like how many IP address you want to assign? Let us say I want to assign here. Let us say sixteen uh, IP address additionally. So that way, I I can definitely assign that here. But if I don't want to assign, just go here, select, and that's it. Like number of IP addresses can be assigned here directly. Moreover, like if you talk about this, does not change. Like all the all the options which were available available earlier, like G, like GP3, GP2, IO1, IO2, uh, co like SC1, which is known as cold HDD, throughput optimized, magnetic. This remains same. There is no change at all. But yes, let me suggest you one thing. Whenever you are going to provision your machine, always select GP GP3. This is the best option available. Within advanced option, yes, there are also couple of changes available. Like you can directly join directly from here. I am I A M option was a uh, op, like you can select any I M role if you have any. Now there is there is one more option in, uh, available. So initially there was only one option to select host name type. It was only I P name. Right now, if you want, you can select your resource name based on your resource, like EC2. So that way, you can configure like EC2 and and something else would come along with the particular resource and like resource name. Then your available resource kind of that kind of name you can define here. Okay, enable resource based IPv4 A record DNS request. So if you if you enable this option, what does that mean? This particular will be enabled. Sort of like an A record will be created against this particular domain name. So right now we are not going to enable this option. Instance auto recovery. This was available earlier as well. There is a difference. Earlier there was only uh, like this option was enabled only for termination, like termination protection enabled. But right now you have to, uh, like this sort of protection enabled for stop as well. a person would not be able to stop the instance accidentally so you can enable that protection as well obviously cloud watch option was there if you want to enable elastic like elastic gpu obviously we are going to use that kind of machine this will not support for short but yes gpu selection option is also available here as of today you can add credit specification is there in case of t2 instances placement group ebs optimized is disabled because we are going to use t2 micro instance only capacity reservation tenancy ram disk kernel id nitro enclave what does that mean it this provides you additional security but this type of instance is not applicable for that uh, option 
it provides an additional in oh, you can go th go through this particular a nitro enclave is trusted execution environment tee where you get an additional layer of security for your data which is kept on your instance same thing is avail available over here now like uh, metadata response hope limit how how long how long, like how much will it be allow tags in metadata so that can be done user data is available here so all the option remains same, but yes, couple of options were there which I wanted to highlight, uh, with, which I wanted to highlight here, and which I wanted to discuss with you. Moreover, like number of instances can be selected here. What AMI? How like what virtual machine? What security group? Wh how much storage you are going to use? And after that, you can just hit launch instance, and that is it. Your instance is ready. So these are the options guys which I wanted to discuss with you because obviously when you are going to select your machine so it, it, it does not only create a machine it brings in some additional bills within your account so if you want to be safe then please do not use unwanted instance select wisely whether you want to go for highest sustained CPU clock rate or you want to go for saving money C5 as of today itself provides higher Compute speed, compute capacity along with the same type of CPU, everything remains same, but yes, it is costlier in comparison to G, like C, like uh, C6 G series or C6, C7 G series kind of instances. So, I hope that is it for this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a good time and happy learning. Be uh, please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you are new to it, and if you are old, then please do share with your, with your friends. Within next session, I will be explaining a couple of additional information which has been added to this particular interface. So, thank you so very much for this.